Hades is Chan, and today I'm here to do a quick, a very quick setup video with you guys for my Hobonichi Weeks. This is my Paprika 2020 Weeks, and I wanted to share with you guys how I'm going to be setting it up. Before I start, I just want to say thank you to the people who left such nice comments on my last video about Wilbur. I really appreciate your kind words for him and the people who wished him well. I, I just really think you guys are so awesome, so thank you so much for that. So as you can see, I've already put my Dushenka cover on cover on my Weeks book here. So there's the front. And there is the back, okay. and I've already put my index stickers on there as well. So these index stickers are ones that I found on Amazon Japan. They look like little books, I'm going to show you. So this is what the packaging looks like, and you get two sheets inside, and Amazon Japan was selling them in sets of two packs as well. So I got two bags of these and then two sheets per package for a total of four sheets. And they're really, really cute. They look like little books, and there's Winnie the Pooh on the cover. Okay. And then the back has these smaller designs, but the back actually faces front in my weeks here. And you can see that, let me just show you. So that's what they look like. They're very, very cute. And they have some space there so you can write the month or you can add a sticker or a stamp for the month if you like. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add anything yet. I might just leave them as is because I think they do look really cute. And then you can see the little book designs there. <laughs> So I put those in there. I didn't want to do it on camera just because it took me a while <laughs> to get them like evenly spaced and all that kind of stuff, right? So that's my basic setup. And now I'm gonna show you guys the outer cover that I'm gonna put this in. So I've decided that I wanna use this Traveler's Notebook cover. This is the Carpe Diem Traveler's Notebook cover. I wanna use this one for my week's book. And I've added this on here. So this was not part of the cover. This is a cute little inflated ephemera from American Crafts. Let me just show you the package. So this is what the packaging looks like. And I think this collection is called Slice of Life. And you get five different pieces in there. At first I thought I was gonna use the cute little pretzel, but then I like the contrast of the red and the black on the bicycle with the cover. So I decided to put the bicycle on there. And I just wanted to point out to you guys that when I put this on, so let me just open this up for you. When I put this bicycle on, so you see how this cover has a knot in the elastic there, which I like because then you can take it off and put charms on there, right? This was not a regular knot though, so when I was going to put the charm on, I kind of undid the knot part way, just enough to kind of see the way it was, the way it was knotted, and then I took a picture with my phone, and then I enlarged the picture so that I could tie the knot the same way, because it's not just a regular knot. So that's how I got that bicycle on there. And then here I got a Hobonichi charm. This is one of their promotional charms from last year. I managed to find them on Etsy, and here are the rest of them from last year. I think they were giving them out as freebies at, I guess, law stores or something like that. But since I'm not in Japan, I had to go on Etsy to find them. <laughs> I actually saw this year's charms as well. They had book charms for this year too, but I did not buy them. I was trying to control myself, so I did not go for them. I was kind of proud of myself that I didn't go nuts buying more charms. <laughs> but they are very, very cute. So I put that on the side there. Okay, so inside I've already put my 2020 Hobonichi pen. Right? And then I wanted to put my Weeks book in here. And I'm gonna put this on just by the back cover. I wanna show you guys what I did. So I really don't like these ribbon bookmarks that Hobonichi puts in the week's book. So I just kind of dragged it over and then taped it. And I might just cut them off, I'm not sure. I didn't wanna cut them off right there. I mean, you could, right, if you really don't like them. But I just didn't want like weird frayed ribbon up there. So that's why I just kind of wrapped them back here. All right, so I'm gonna put this on this elastic right here. Okay, and then back here, I wanted to put one of my handmade traveler's notebooks. So I made this one for Wilbur. I did a little bit of decorating already. <laughs> I'll do a flip through when I'm done decorating this book. That through there. Okay. And then I wanted to put some stuff in the pockets. So I got these two stencils from their store. Okay, that's what they look like. Put them up here. And then I've got two more stencils from the Hobonichi store. Put them in this pocket. These pockets don't go all the way down. So that's why they can just sit there comfortably without going, like without slipping all the way downward. And then I've got this one the longer stencil from Hobonichi. I'm gonna put that in the cover. 
right there. So pocket in the clear cover on cover. Okay. And I also wanted to put my precious bouillon stencil. This is a awesome stencil that Simone gave me. I'll put this stencil in here. And I've got Hobonichi Film Fusion, their translucent sticky note. This is a last year's design with friends. There. And you can see that the pocket does not go all the way down. So that they're reaching the bottom of the pocket there. And then I got this embroidered patch. <laughs> this little guy is from American Crafts. He was part of a patch set that was a part of a Halloween collection. And I thought he's so cute. So I wanted to put him in the front. There we go. I usually keep the pockets pretty simple. A lot of times I don't even put stuff in the pockets or I just put minimal amount of things in there. Uh, so that's the setup there, the basic setup there. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I want to add any more. I think uh, this is pretty, pretty good for now. And now I just want to talk to you guys about how I'm going to be using this week's. This week's is going to be used for Wilbur stuff and also other personal stuff. So this is my Wilbur and personal weeks. <laughs> and I've got another Hobonichi weeks, uh, an Ultraman weeks. I'm going to be setting that up in another video and that's going to be our YouTube planner. So that'll be in an upcoming video. But that's pretty much it for today. Pretty simple, right? All right, let's close this up. Okay, there we go. There. I just want to show you guys how things sit there. So you can see there's plenty of space for the pen and the weeks. You can see how far it goes in this cover. This is a, a wider cover than, let's say, Traveler's Company brand Traveler's Notebook covers. This fits the simple stories or the um, carpe diem inserts, which are wider. I think they're like five inches wide or something. But there you go. So a pretty simple video for today. As always, I just want to say thanks for watching and hopefully I'll catch you next time. All right, bye.